So right now we're on the Plab VCO one box. We're going to log into the vSphere web client. So in the middle of the page here, let's scroll down to system configuration. And on the left pane, let's click on services. Then underneath services, click on auto deploy. In the middle, click on manage. On the top bar, click on Actions, then Edit Startup. So the default shows that Auto Deploy is disabled. We're going to click on Automatic and OK. Now let's configure vSphere Auto Deploy Waiter Service. So right mouse click on the window icon, select Run. Type services dot MSC. Scroll down to VMware vSphere auto deploy service waiter. Right mouse click it and select start. We can go ahead and close out of services now. On the left pane, let's click on Home. Let's go ahead and click on vCenter Inventory List. Then on the lower end of the page under Resources, let's click on vCenter Servers. Let's select Plab VC01. In the middle, click on the Manage tab. In the middle pane, click on Auto Deploy. Click on download the TFTP boot. I understand the risk. Let's find the downloads folder and we'll extract deploy TFTP. Let's now hit the start button and go to search, type in TFTP. We're going to open up our TFTP server. Click on file, configure. Let's go back to the desktop. Right mouse click, select properties. And we'll copy the location. Deleted it by mistake. Let's restore it. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead and click OK. We could go ahead and close this dialog box, close out of the rest of this stuff as well. We're going to need to configure DHCP with an option, so we're going to jump into our domain controller, plab dc01. Let's go ahead and reconnect to this box.
Let's go ahead and click on Add Roles and Features. Select Installation Type. And we'll leave the default here, Role Based, and click Next. All right, so our new scope is created here under IPv4. So our new scope 192.168.0.0.pleb. Let's go ahead and with the uh, red arrow, it's not activated. So let's right mouse click and select activate. Let's go down to scope options, right mouse click. Let's go down to scope options, select it, right mouse click, select configure options. Let's scroll down to option 67. Boot file name. And let's jump back into our PLAB VC01 box so that we can get that boot file name and this is our boot file name so we'll right mouse click rename and we'll just copy this so we don't have to type it in the other box let's jump back into our domain controller do a control v or right mouse click and paste let me try that again i'm i'm embedded in so many vms right now all right, I was able to get that pasted in. We'll click on OK. So the one last step that would need to be done would be to configure the host BIOS from the boot network. As we are working on a series of virtual machines, this step is not possible right now. Be sure to subscribe, comment, like, share on these videos. And thank you for watching.